Hello guys, hope you are doing fine. This video is dedicated to Big Tuki that wanted a tank reliable, fast and cheap. So I used a medium 36 chassis to produce a cheap tank with 12 km per hour, 96% reliability, held a lot of a punch and I am using this within a unit of shock infantry. I'm using just one tank, so 50 tanks plus two super well designed support companies that I'm going to show you later but this unit is going to reach 12 km per hour as soon as the new versions of the small tanks arrive and I'm going to show you this in action so situation why do I need a motorized shock infantry because in this case as always I'm playing as Poland but this time I'm playing with the Romanian king and the Soviets are really angry about it and they are going to attack in less than one month so I need to blitz Germany or try to join with France fast enough so I could free some of my units here and move them to the Eastern Front so I'm going to demonstrate the shock infantry by taking Konigsberg and dancing sorry Memel and then I'm going to do a move for Berlin so I am doing my first attack I will put it in speed 2 so you see the rate of damage and let's unpause we are going to use the command power to increase my damage and let's see the stats I'm hitting a lot 282 against very little so they are going to break out very soon and they did the job so I keep moving I'm going to increase the supply depot capacity because I'm going to need it also this one they keep moving at 12 but very fast at least first objective moving to the second province they are trying to reinforce I'm going to put pressure so they stop annoying just to distract them and they reach the first objective encircling and destroying yes I'm going to use all pocket is done keep advancing they did not have time to entrench nor reinforce protecting I have trouble <laughs> to keep up with them they are so fast that they move even faster than my redeploying units and they are destroying Memel super fast well that was easy now we have the Konigsberg pocket and they are dead okay now I'm going to try to capture Berlin I have a lot of divisions behind my armor division that should move in transport redeploy behind them but since that will take a lot of micromanage I'm going to go alone without the infantry behind to make the video faster I'm going to move at 1, 2, speed 2 and see so you can see how it works so the first attack let's see the stats they are hitting at 450 a lot from 490 a lot and they are gone they already broke the line they are moving very very fast let's see let's try to give them some supplies they have supply first objective they are counter attacking keep moving as I mentioned the infantry should be securing the line 
but they move so fast that even with strategic redeploy they have difficult times to follow this division and this is usually very hard because there is some entrenched unit but they did not have time this time and now for Berlin the counterattacks fail very soon because they have two three heavy artillery units inside and the capture of Berlin the capture of Berlin by the Polish troops so let's take a look at the division template I have the standard infantry auxiliary companies plus the recon tank and the flamer tank the flamer tank is very important I have a, a dedicated video on how so impressive benefits they give in terms of bonus on attack and also I have three units with heavy artillery these two companies and the tank and all the trucks provide breakthrough and these two units also provide breakthrough the tanks provide breakthrough this is the flamer tank first I made one design after I had all my four units with flame tanks I did a second design and now I'm going to improve this second design because it could be even better of course the flamer three main turret for breakthrough the radio for breakthrough and the rest machine guns this one for speed and and the cheapest because the armor here does not count the count one that counts is this one that gives breakthrough and we are going to give the more reliable engine and we are going to compensate the speed 12.0 and I have to spend some points here in armor or 102 12 97 and now I have better breakthrough 30 so I have a very fast flamer tank that's also provide, providing some soft attack with the machine guns and some breakthrough I could increase even more the breakthrough but replacing one machine gun with this that gives more let's see 1291 reliability and breakthrough 37 I could try to improve the radio thirty seven so I need a better radio, but that's the idea that will will be a wood flamer design super high speed I'm using a light frame prototype thirty six twelve feet ninety one reliability which is okay and thirty seven breakthrough and some soft attack that will also help and some defense with the machine guns and now we are going to see the scout tank scout 2 we have a, an anti-tank gun this is going to provide the armor piercing bonus for the unit you must ha always have armor piercing in each attack unit a three men to provide more breakthrough the radio and the machine gun very similar to the flamer tank since this is a light tank design and we, and we will do exactly the same replace this mod engine with this one that is performs better and we increase the engine to compensate we increase the armor and so on and let's go to the important tank that is the bolt tank here is the bolt tank and here is the key uh, speed almost 12 96 reliability soft attack a lot how do I achieve so much soft attack reliability and speed well the key is on the I'm using a medium but fix if you use a fix you are going to have a lot less breakthrough but a lot far more reliability a lot more reliability so if you use this you're going to do basically a defensive tank 
if you have seen in the in the information about the World War II, you will see that the anti-tanks usually use fixed turret because they were easier to produce and more reliable. So I'm using the increased armor, so this gives me uh, enough armor to provide armor bonus to the whole division. There is a video about out this engine for speed, transmission for speed as always, and the good engine as always this one and the speed always this is are always a rule for me and a lot of speed and zero armor because i'm not giving armor for breakthrough i'm just giving armor for anti-armor defense so i have armor but low breakthrough if you use a good armor here you will have good armor here but it will not affect your breakthrough this one affects your breakthrough. I'm not interested for breakthrough in these tanks because I'm only using one and the breakthrough will be given by the, all the rest of the other units. So that's complete the video. Hope you find this information useful. If you did, please give me a like and thanks for watching.